In this video, we're going to focus on creating the detail for the tachometer on the upper portion of our steering wheel. The first thing I want to do is create a sketch on our front plane to trim the excess off from our surface loft. I'm going to use a horizontal line and fix its endpoints. Go to my Surfaces tab and use my Trim Surface to remove the excess portion of our loft that we do not need. The next thing I want to do is expand our loft and show the center line sketch that was used to create that loft. On our front plane again, we're going to start a new sketch. What we'd like to do is create the border for our tachometer section. I'm going to select the center line and use an offset. Looks like 10 millimeters is going to get us pretty close to where it's shown in our sketch picture. I'm going to select it again and offset it in the other direction. Now 10 millimeters is going to get us a little too close to the upper edge, so I'm actually going to use 8. The next thing I'd like to do is use a straight line going between both sections, fix it in place, then use my trim tool to remove any unwanted sections. I like to use power trim. It allows me to just drag past and remove the unwanted section of our offset. Next, I want to convert that straight line to construction and then add a three-point spline starting at each section and snapping to our center line parameter for our loft. We can apply a tangent relation to each side and notice that that gets us pretty close to the shape that we see in our sketch picture. I'm simply going to drag the handles out a little bit farther and get a more rounded section on the end. Now it is important that we fully define this, so I'm going to give this a 40 millimeter dimension, we'll give this a 35 millimeter dimension, and we'll give this a location in relation to something, 15.25. That allows us to fully define this sketch. We can exit, go to our curves menu, and use a split line feature. It's important to note that the front plane is actually inside of our steering wheel surface. So we want to make sure we use the single direction option and that the direction arrow is pointing the correct way. If we OK this, it's now split our steering wheel in order to create that tachometer section. Let's hide our centerline sketch and take a look at this. When we look at the image here, we see that this tachometer section actually looks like it's depressed into the surface a little bit. So I'm going to use offset surface, grab this face, I'm going to offset it a quarter millimeter, making sure that it's going inside the part. Then I can use delete face and remove that outside face that we created. Now we need to create a surface that goes between the two. We can use a boundary surface, right click and use our selection manager, making sure that we have all the tangency selected, and do the same thing for that inside edge as well. Now this allows us to create a boundary surface between the original intent and the offset. Once we knit these together, we have a single surface once again. From this point, I'm going to go to my Features tab, and I'm going to mirror this across my right plane. Once you've created a feature, it will automatically be selected when you go into your Feature Mirror. Make sure that you clear that selection and you use Bodies to Mirror as opposed to Features. Select your right plane. And select the Knit Surfaces option. You'll notice that because of the distortion in our sketch picture, it's not lining up perfectly with the left side. So we're going to assume the design intent was for this LED to be centered on the steering wheel. So we're going to create a sketch on our front plane again, go to our loft operation, and again make that center line path visible, draw a vertical construction line that will allow us to do a sketch mirror, and then add a few circles. We're going to snap to the center, get these as close as possible to the sketch picture, apply an equal relation between all four of these, give at least one of them a dimension. We're going to give it five millimeters. Then I'm going to fix the center point location of the remaining LEDs. Now I can use my mirror entities, mirror the outside three, and copy them about that vertical construction line we created. We can exit the sketch, go to our Curves drop-down, and use Split Line again. Make sure that you select the faces you want to split, single direction, and make sure that it's going the correct way. We can again hide our center line path, and also hide our sketch picture, and take a look at what we have here. So it's a fairly good representation, something that we can apply more materials to later, and get the illumination similar to what we did for our control buttons. That concludes creating the upper steering wheel tack. 